Mila, tell us about the flag that inspired your dress. Papua New Guinea? It is an independent nation and they're very proud of that. I wanted to design something that was an abstract interpretation and just really symbolized that kind of free spirit. When I first saw this dress, I immediately knew it was yours, and I think that's really great. But when you're going to be abstract, you have to be very careful, because all the great abstract artists of the past, they really, really knew their subject so well. And I do applaud your courage to go and do something really different with the subject matter. I'm, I'm just not sure you quite had enough time to get your teeth really into it. You know what it gives me more than Papua New Guinea? I get communism from this dress. It looks Russian to me. What I see in your work is a graphic, bare, strong line that doesn't really reflect to me the challenge. The thing that bothers me is this, there's something that really just like makes you keep thinking that two dresses are sewn together that becomes almost too disturbing. But if you could have pulled red back into the black and brought it together, like, oh, I like the way that... When you say that, though, it's like, you're not designing the dress, she is. I know. You know what I mean? We're pointing out to her the very obvious thing that it's two dresses put together. She probably knows that. That's the idea, right, of the dress. Maybe you're the wrong girl for that flag. Like, if you had gotten, you know, the Soviet flag, it would have been a fabulous <laughs> thing for you.